The women of True Hydrovision are duly honored and a longtime diesel and gas engine player is looking seriously toward hydrogen. Today is Monday, July 29th, 2019. I'm Rod Walton, one of the content directors with Clarion Energy. I'll have hydro, hydrogen, and more in our energy news wrap up. A major Eastern US utility says that it plans to be net zero in carbon emissions by 2050. Public Service Enterprise Group, or PSEG, will no longer build new fossil generation and may close all but three of its newer gas-fired generation plants in those coming decades. Ralph Izzo, CEO of the New Jersey-based utility, wrote a letter to stakeholders basically saying that time is of the essence. Climate change is the key challenge of this era and it's far past time to move from warnings to action, he said. One surprising feature, maybe to some, is that PSEG said it plans to advocate for the survival of its Salem and Holt Creek nuclear power plants. Those reactors supply more than 90% of New Jersey's current zero carbon electricity. Well, the annual Hydrovision happened last week in Portland, Oregon. And during that time, four outstanding industry members were honored during the Women with Hydrovision Awards. The stellar group of honorees included Kelly Donnelly, Chief Counsel for the U.S. Senate Energy and Natural Resources Committee, Helen Locker, an independent consultant who has advanced hydropower sustainability on a local and global scale, Hallie Mushaw, Counsel for Troutman Sanders, a longtime expert on complex hydroelectric projects and federal rulemaking, Sarah Verville, a now retired senior consultant for TRC companies who worked in hydro licensing for more than 30 years. The next Hydrovision will be next summer in Minneapolis. Rolls-Royce Power System announced that MTU Onsite Energy has delivered gas and diesel gensets for a unique power project in Mexico. The 7.7 megawatt power plant, which is fully islanded because of a lack of grid capacity in the region, provides electricity for a port processing facility in Puebla. The power plant includes four new MTU Onsite Energy Series 4,000 gas-fired generators and one diesel genset. The challenge for MTU is that the customer has to rely 100% on its own power, and this was the first off-grid solution for MTU in the Americas. MTU Onsite Energy is a division of Rolls-Royce. MTU also will present a content session on this very project this November when PowerGen International comes to New Orleans. Stay tuned for more details. Germany's on-site power provider Mann Energy Solutions announced it is venturing deeper into a potential hydrogen energy future. The company joined a partnership on large-scale hydrogen storage with Hydrogenius LOHC Technologies and Frames Group BV. The work will be based on Hydrogenius's liquid organic hydrogen carrier technology using heat transfer oil as a hydrogen carrier. Man CEO Uwe Lauber said that a climate neutral future depends on green hydrogen. And Man has invested in that, acquiring a sizable stake in electrolysis firm H Tech Systems earlier this year. Man is not alone. Others, such as Mitsubishi Hitachi Power Systems and GE, are exploring hydrogen power turbine options. And yes, the potential of hydrogen power will also be discussed at PowerGen. I know, I sound like a broken record, don't I? Don't I? Don't I? Okay, folks, that's all I have for this edition of the Clarion Energy News Wrap-Up. Now, we are moving offices here over the next week, so we won't have a video next week, but we will return in two weeks. I'm Rod Walton, and thank you so much for watching.